Hi folks, welcome to .NET Techie and uh, today I have chosen very interesting library for uh, integrating our themes and different components which is PrimeNG. PrimeNG is really very nice library which you can use in your Angular 4 or Angular 2 or Angular 5 project. So here I am trying to um, demonstrate how you can use PrimeNG in Angular 5 projects and uh, if you are going to use Angular 4 or Angular 2 it is not going to be that different. And PrimeNG is such a powerful library which has approximately 70 components which you can use in UI and it provides themes as well. So you not need to worry about what text box, what drop down list or what kind of file upload or what kind of menu bar, slider and all those things. You just include this library and uh, use those controls. So let's see how it can be done. So, I am taking into slides. So, first of all, as per my uh, regular habit, uh, you need to create Angular project, Angular 5 project. If you haven't watched the video, just watch previous video where I have tried to create an Angular 5 project using Angular CLI stuff. Then install PrimeNG. After that, whatever you would like to use PrimeNG component, just uh, import those components in your module.ts. And one more thing, you need to install animation as well in order to support different uh, PrimeNG components. Afterwards, uh, it's uh, like uh, just plug and play role. And a uh, few of, uh, in project uh, project.json, you need to include PrimeNG uh, 4.1 and font awesome. So the best thing about the PrimeNG, it provides all the components and it provides most awesome CSS library called font awesome so you can use all the icons from there and uh, go to your angular CLI JSON and include this, uh, these things into CLI modules so this is about the theory how it can be achieved let me show you how it looks so what you are gonna to learn end of the distillation is this is the Omega theme of PrimeNG. So this is the PrimeNG website where I have extracted and I have created a project which is using PrimeNG component. So this is a menu bar from the PrimeNG. You could see over here this menu bar. So this I try to implement menu bar over here. So this is a really awesome. You can utilize in your website and this. So let me tell you how I have done this. The, the key point I have written over here, you install PrimeNG, then install Angular animation. In the project.json, include these dependencies. Go to Angular CLI JSON and include these style modules after that. And you are all set to use. Okay. So let me show you what is our module.ts looks like so that you will not be having any kind of confusion over here. And uh, in module.ts, what exactly I have done, this is the browser module, browser animation module, I have included it. Uh, Angular font awesome module, I have included it, which is required to support all PrimeNG component. Then after that, I have included this from the PrimeNG. So whatever I am in, including over here, in the import sections, I am defining over here. So this is what we have done in module.ts. Okay, let me show you what Angular... Uh, CLI JSON is required. Angular CLI JSON is required these things to run PrimeNG. So you need to include this stuff over here. Okay. And now let's go to project.json. And in the project.json, the moment we install PrimeNG, we should be having these things. Or you can include these things manually into the dependency section of project uh, package.json. Sorry, not. It's a uh, package.json. So these are the all things you need to do in order to use any component of the prime ng. Okay, let's see how I have achieved these beautiful menus, these and the header contents and uh, and so on. So whatever you would like to use from prime ng, you could uh, do that. But these are the basic stuff which you need to perform in order to use any kind of prime ng component. Let's Let's go and see how my app component.ts looks. So in app component.ts, we are using menu item, accordion module, and menu bar module. So I have imported those things. Okay. Then on ng init, I have defined what items we need into the menu. So this new open and undo is for the second menu which I have used over here. These are the items for that. How we can define and we can define in ng on any event. Okay, this item one is for the header menu which you can utilize in your website uh, for uh, navigation bar and uh, 
these items we can define into different array or we can generate these things dynamically and just bind into this interface and it will be like binding to your menu bar which is really a very nice thing over here okay let me show you what we have done in our index.html so in index.html where is my this particular component so this is one is the top menu bar where i am having one text box called search and sign out button over here item one array i am assigning over here and it is really binding point then uh, for the second menu bar open item and next for this one new open and undo we have uh, done this so this is the html for that and it is binding from the items array and for accordion control we have used this so see how smooth it is and how beautiful it is we do have different themes in prime ng as well which you can take from here and utilize those themes so you not need to worry about themes and control so these uh, prime ng is having lot of controls which you can utilize and uh, just use these things and go for further development so if you are using prime ng you not need to concentrate on how control will behave and what even you need to handle and all you just simply prime ng use the control and it will give you almost all behavior so i was like uh, when first time i had used it i was uh, really really very happy about this prime ng and i hope it is useful for you guys as well so uh, thanks for watching this video i would be thankful if you could uh, subscribe my channel and uh, click on the notification button if um, if you would like to share my channel details dot net take it to any of your friends please feel free to share it will help others to to learn uh, gain the knowledge and moreover if you are subscribing and spreading my channel it will really give me the motivation to create further videos so i am in next video i will be coming up with the angular 5 with the crud operation babe api all get post put and all those stuffs forms modules this kind of things i will implement and show you how it can be achieved and i will be using this prime ng theme only and all the prime ng component demonstration i will try to show over here so thanks for watching this video thank you so much have a great day.